Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs> And I'm sorry yesterday's vlog was so boring, I guess. Um, it was quite interesting that I forgot to put the book footage in, I think. God knew I was going to get sick, so he was like, ah, I have some footage for you to throw in there. A lot of you said, remember Sunday when you slept in so late, it was your body telling you that you were getting sick because like, I honestly can't remember the last time I slept till like 8.30, 8.40 on a weekend. So I think you were right. Have to follow up with Overstock today because we bought a new light fixture for our dining room and it says it shipped and everything. But then when I track it on UPS, it says uh, sh shipping information is voided. And I don't know what that means. And I have no idea where this light fixture is. All right, the rest of this is just going to be driving to work. So I will not bore you with that. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope that you remember to greet people warmly and to treat them kindly and to spread a little love. And I will catch up with you soon. As soon as I started moving around at work, I got so nauseous. I literally have sweat through all my clothes. I'm like, I can feel the sweat coming through the sweater I wore on my back. Um, and I've gotten sick twice, so... I am heading home. This morning I felt okay, so I did have a cup of coffee I, sh I shouldn't have. But like I said, put it all in perspective. Like, this is nothing compared to others. It's just, I just don't feel great right now. But still incredibly blessed and lucky in life. So I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. But I don't want to make anyone else sick at work. Because I got it from them anyway. They've all been sick and I've avoided it up until now. Literally everyone has been sick, so it was only a matter of time until it was be my turn. Oh, and the best part is, when I got to work today, I like put my keys in a place where I normally don't put them, and like as I was trying to leave, I couldn't remember where it was because I'm so like foggy from not feeling well, 
and I, it took me like a good half hour to finally find my keys and they were like right in front of me the whole time but like I'm just so fogged over I look terrible but still pretty cute I just woke up um, the morning started much more promising I felt okay but like the longer the day has gone and the more I moved around it's just gotten worse and worse um, but I'm determined not to miss a day of Vlogmas, um, so I'm going to open up some advent calendars and then we're gonna sit on the couch and I'm going to go through some Q and A's that I haven't gotten to. So day five, advent calendars, let's go ahead and open them up. We got a spring and December. Our best-selling body cream will nourish your skin and add warmth to your winter with a ch scent of cherry blossom. So I got their most popular lotion. Once again, I'm telling you, next year everyone should buy the Rituals Advent Calendar because the sample sizes are so great and I love it. I need to find number five. Oh, there it is. I swear, part of the fun is finding the box. Okay. Let's put a box in backwards. <gasps> Aww! There's a little creature. And today's tea is glitter and gold. Today's fragrance is orange sen, sen, sanguine, orange sanguine, or, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. That's my favorite one so far. I like the orange. Let's go for it. This will be a fragrance. Oh, I almost tore it that time. Yikes. And this is Dosun. Let's go ahead and open it. See, look how big these sample sizes are. They're fabulous. It's very flowery, very sweet. It reminds me, look, look how pale I am. Well, I'm always really pale. But, um, it reminds me of an old lady. <laughs> also, you are all very concerned about Bubba's in the poinsettia. You have nothing to worry about. He doesn't bother anything, and he could care less that it is there. Right, Bubby? Do you, do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah, he could care less. He's more concerned with what's outside the window. See, I'm a good boy. See, I'm a good boy. I don't get into anything. I'm a good boy. I don't get into anything. I don't get into anything. Because he's a good boy. So... On Instagram, I had asked um, probably three weeks ago for some questions and answers by with the holidays and Vlogmas. I clearly didn't get a chance to shoot that video, so I'm just going to go through some of the questions. Well, what do you do with your books once you've read them? Well, you've seen. I put them on the bookshelf and also have a bookcase in the hallway upstairs and then in my bedroom. Um, if I don't like a book... I still put it on the shelf. I have a really hard time giving them away. Have you found the perfect pillow? No, but the perfect pillow case is the slip pillow case. It's amazing. I'll leave it linked below. What is your occupation? A leader in a nonprofit organization that works for educational equality and policy. Do you have any single friends? Actually, I don't think I do. This may be the first time I can ever actually say that. I don't think I have a single friend. Um, how do you store all those fabulous bags? Um, I wish I had a great answer. My closet doesn't have any exterior light coming in because um, it's an interior room. So I just put them up on the uh, shelf and then I do wipe them probably like once a month with like a alcohol-free wipes from Target. If you could take a trip anywhere in the world, where would you go? I'd go back to Antwerp, Belgium. If you could change one thing in the world to make it a better place, for everyone, what would it be? For people to get out of their own ways and realize they are not the most important person on the planet and that being kind to others is 
just as important of t as taking care of yourself. Um, I feel like ego, if we could get rid of egos, the world would be a better place. Where do you see yourself in five years, personally, professionally, in real life, on YouTube? I have no expectations with YouTube. I made this channel just to bring other people joy um, and to bring a little light and have a place to talk about the things that I love that I don't get to talk about very often. Um, professionally, exactly where I'm at right now, I'm really, really happy and I love my job and I love my work. Personally, um, exactly where I'm at and hopefully Bubba's is still here. What is my favorite comfort food? Mashed potatoes. Good mashed potatoes. My mom's mashed potatoes. Do you count calories, macros, or do you intuitively eat? I just intuitively eat some days more than others. Um, I, I do the best I can. And if I make like a really unhealthy choice with one meal, I try to make a better choice with the next. Would you ever do a car tour or what's in my car? I absolutely would do a car tour. I just think it would be boring because I keep the cleanest car on the planet. You can ask everyone, they make fun of me about it all the time. I keep nothing in my car. There'd be nothing for you to see. If you would want to see a car tour, tell me what you would want to see. I mean, I have organizational tips in my glove box, but I just feel like it'd be the most boring video on the planet. Kind <laughs> of like these vlogs. I love that you all love them. What is your favorite book of all time? Anne of Green Gables, you all know that. How do you decide what book to read? I do read a lot of reviews, but in all honesty, I judge a book by its cover. <laughs> it makes me sound like a terrible person, but that's really what I do. What was your first luxury good, and what is your favorite luxury good? I would say my favorite luxury good is probably... I'm trying, like, honestly, my favorite most used is, like, my Louis Vuitton or Prada 6 key holder. I love that. I, I think that's the best piece of luxury you can give as a gift or get yourself. My first luxury good, I think I've told you guys this before, was the Coach Varick messenger bag. Gray. It was nylon. It was $345. I saved for it in college, and I carried it for probably nine years. How do you balance work, home life, YouTube? and find time to do it all? This is like the question I get asked the most. I don't really th think I do that m much. I mean, my work doesn't feel like work because I like it so much. The hours are long, yes, but I love it. Um, YouTube, I make space for it on the weekends and just integrate my life into the channel. Whatever's happening in my life shows up on my YouTube channel and vice versa, like if I'm working on organizing or from the process of meal planning or going to sit down and plan my week I incorporate that into my YouTube channel I kind of meld the two and then Steven's also really supportive like he'll take Bubba's for a walk so I can film and um, if it's important to you you make the time and people who say there's not enough hours in the day that is a lie you're just not managing your hours well enough I believe that like if you're going to utilize your time you have to assign every task to a specific time. If you could give yourself your younger self advice, what would it be? It's really not that big of a deal and it'll be okay. Have you and Steven ever thought about adopting children? Yes, kind of when we found this house and created it, I kind of imagined having a kid. Um, since then, Steven and I realized we're really happy with where we are in our relationship and our life. So we've decided not to pursue adoption. Um, I don't know. One day we may very much regret that, but right now we're really happy. Do you like candy? And if yes, what kind? Chocolate. Any chocolate. M&Ms. <laughs> like any cho- I love chocolate. But it makes me break out, so I'm, I try to be careful. How did you and Steven meet? All right, this is another very much asked question. So I will answer that and then um, I'll get to these in another video sometime soon. Maybe I'll do another Vlogmas where I answer a couple of them, but this is the fast story of how Steven and I met. So I was invited to a Christmas party because this guy liked me and wanted to date me and he was having this huge house Christmas party in North Carolina. It's one of those parties where there's so many people there that no one actually knows anybody. So I went to this Christmas party and stood next to him for a while and tried to make small talk with people and I was absolutely miserable. So I actually was considering leaving and I saw this girl standing across the room. I walked over, started talking to her and we like hit it off. 
and she randomly picked up her phone and was like, I'm going to call someone. She called Stephen and was like, you have to come and meet this guy. His name is Christopher. Just come to this party and meet him. And Stephen wasn't invited to this party and to know him, I'm still shocked to this day he came, but he showed up to the party. Um, we started talking and I went to leave. He asked for my number and yeah, that's how we met. The girl that I met that night and started talking to was actually Stephen's paralegal at the time. I'm going to end the questions there. I'll save some others for Vlogmas. Um, and I'm just going to lay back down and try to rest because... I don't know if I've been this sick in in a couple years. <laughs> All right, bye. It's just me. It's just me. What's up here? Hi. Hi. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at me. So I just woke up. One of my good friends and colleagues at work gave me my Christmas gift, and I wanted to share because I thought it was like. The cutest thing on the planet, A, her and I are extremely, extremely close. Um, I consider her a colleague, um, a friend. Um, she's just amazing. And I wanted to share, like, this will tell you how amazing she is and how well she knows me. So she had a few things for me. And the first thing that I opened was this amazing penguin copy of Anne of Green Gables. But it's done, like, the Pantone paint chips so there's like all these level of green this series of books is something really cool it's by puff and print um and penguin it's just really modern and just so cool so if you have someone who has like a favorite book definitely look into these if i can find them i'll leave them linked down below i just think this is amazing i just want to read it and i also love when pages have that like distressed edging i love that she got me the nest holiday candle um and it smells amazing and the packaging for the nest candle is always so beautiful mm, it smells like cinnamon and everything wonderful and then she got me this new thing that i had not heard of it's called a dew puff it is a plant-based sponge for gentle daily skin care dew puff sponges are made from the root of the konjac a plant native to Asia. Konjac has long been regarded for its healthy and medicinal properties and is known in Japan for delicate skin care. With its natural ability to break down dirt and promote circulation, Dew Puff is the perfect puff for dew beautiful skin every day. Dew Puff cleans without drying, leaves skin feeling refreshed and looking smooth and radiant, gentle enough for any type of skin, even a baby's. Before each use, thoroughly soak the dew puff until soft. Then squeeze out excess water. Do not wring. Add cleanser if desired. Clean entire face with a gentle massaging motion. After using rinse off, puff, squeeze out water, and hang to dry. Its smell is less than desirable. But, um, actually it's a little bit better now. The initial smell of the package was a little concerning. But, um, I'm excited to try this. I am currently working in collaboration with my infinite agenda. Um, I'll leave the video where I do like a very detailed walkthrough and unboxing of this planner um, down below. For every planner sold, they give money back to um, charity. And I got the 2018 planner sent to me in this beautiful like slaty midnight blue color. And the planner's a really cool planner that is based on like vision setting and vision boards and really like achieving goals. And I'm really, oh, and gratitude. And I'm really excited to be working with them. One thing that I discovered that I forgot to point out to you guys is that there is like a little pocket on the back where you can like stick stickers or little like notes or receipts. I just thought that was important to share with you because I hadn't found that out. So I'm excited to give away this blush and rose gold planner to one of you, um, you should know that um, I have a link down below and a coupon code for 10% off of a, my infinite agenda if you cannot wait any longer, which I don't know how you could. But I will be announcing the winner on Friday. And like I said, the video is linked down below for all the giveaway information. Entry is really simple. You have to watch that video, leave a comment on it, and make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to make a cup of tea now. I'm going to take some medicine and I'm going to lay back down. 
All right, I'm going to end this vlog here, and I just want to say thank you for the support of not just Vlogmas, but this channel in general. December 1st marked a year of this channel, and we're at 16,000 subscribers, which my first year my goal was to hit 1,000, and it's really awesome, and I'm so glad to have you all along for the ride. Continue to share this on your social medias and with your friends and with your family and anyone you think that it might resonate with um, because that's how we continue to grow this community and that's how we have grown this community. Um, thank you. And I am going to end this so I can get it edited and uploaded so I can spend the rest of the night resting so tomorrow I can feel really great. And I will leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. It is the season of giving, so give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.